Where do you see the future for mental health research? Uh, in many regards, mental health research, all the time I've been involved in psychiatry, there's always been a promise that we're right on the edge, that something new is going to happen. I think more times than not, that promise has always come from the direction of genetics. That we've, gene genetics have progressed to such a level that we're now going to have significant breakthroughs. I think that optimism has to be tempered by the fact that, well, the progress has not been fantastic. And uh, say a number of papers in, in science last year were very sobering in terms of what is the likelihood of any significant uh, breakthrough in that domain. I think psychiatry has a big problem. The big problem is to connect itself to a rigorous scientific framework. I think it can do that. That scientific framework is neuroscience. Psychiatry has always been conducted slightly away from neuroscience. I think it is now more important than ever for it to connect to the mainstream. So my view is that the big breakthroughs will come through, uh, come to pass when psychiatry fully embraces neuroscience and that what will happen there is that there will be a greater refinement of the categories that we deal with. So for example, mental illness are described with broad categories like depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, under the assumption that these destructive categories reflect underlying biological entities. I think that's probably not the case. And I think by using the tools of neuroscience, we can parse up that whole domain of mental illness into something that is much more scientifically plausible which will lead, in my view, to significant advances. But I think we're not talking about the next five years, I think we're talking about a horizon of probably 20 years.